Today we're going to make the Corpse Bride wig headpiece and veil. Be sure to like and subscribe to see all the looks coming up. I've taken this Amazon wig linked below and steamed out the front to test the heat on it. Make sure it's side parted and we'll start by sectioning at the halfway mark at the top of the head and horizontally where it is just above your temples. Smooth and clip back. Use hairspray to smooth the flyaways. Do the same on the other side. The wig cap is shockingly bright, so we're going to fix that with some blue eyeshadow. Layer on the blue and then add a little black to tone it down. Seal with hairspray and layer again with some of the blue and black to deepen. Much better. Do the same on the other side. Tie off the sides with little rubber bands. Tie together in the back and clip out of the way. Next, divide all of the hair in the back into two sections and then in half again on both sides. Braid pulling straight out to make sure that the braid starts higher. You should now have four braided sections. Take a hand steamer and use it a few times on all four sides of each braid. Let it sit for at least an hour to let it cool, dry, and set. Once dry, unbraid each section and finger comb apart. I like to shake each section together to reincorporate the hair. Comb with a large tooth comb, especially in the front. Next, spray with hairspray and kind of smooth and scrunch it back to help define and smooth the waves that frizzed out slightly from combing. You'll see the pieces connected in the back I didn't braid because it'll be covered by the veil the whole time. Tying them together in the back gives the veil somewhere for the comb to sit securely. This flower crown is a really good option to tone down the green hue, coat with the blue eyeshadow to cool the color more. This is a great option, but I just had to get these stunning foam flowers that are just beautiful. Take five of them next to each other to make a headband shape. To finish off the veil, cut the edges into V shapes and spray paint the same way that we did on the dress layers. For the outside two roses, gently peel back the green leaves while holding the petals and slide off. Peel off the bottom row of petals and discard. Slide the leaves back on and glue into place. This makes the roses smaller. You can remove more layers to make smaller if you like. I'll combine them with the small flower crown and glue to a headband and the headpiece is complete. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I'll see you next time.